Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Uh, how's everyone doing today? Let's see. Um, I want to make sure that you guys can hear me because yesterday we had some microphone problems. So let me just check it out. And I have to do two things at once. I have to keep talking so I know if you hear me or not. Happy Saturday. Oh. Okay, so no echo. Sounds like we're sounds like we're doing what we need to do here. And let's see. All right. I think we're good to go. Please say hi as you hop on in the comments. And share the love. Uh, sprinkle my business page to your friends and family. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, Farmland Designs is a business that my husband and I do together. And we love crafting and we love making things. Good morning, Barb. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. Um, my microphone switched for some reason. It, I used to use this top microphone and now it's making me use the bottom microphone. I don't know. Uh, who knows what's going on. But um, I'm Barbara Jo with Farmland Designs. Like I was saying, this is a business that my husband and I do together. We have loads of fun. Uh, my husband makes wonderful surfaces. As you can see here, this is just a pine board um, that he sanded and stained. And I believe this is a walnut stain. And you can also see that he did some, some, some work here. I don't know what this is called because I don't work with wood. But it has a beautiful design uh, on it that he did by hand. And this is what we're going to be using today. I want to go over a couple things. Um, I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. Everything that you see today during the live is available either through my chalk shop or through my business page. And, um, well, there's a couple things that I'll specifically tell you if I got them somewhere else uh, that we will be using today. I have a couple promotions this month or a couple giveaways. Let's call it giveaways. I have a couple giveaways and if you go to my business page, it, the description of the two giveaways in detail are pinned to the top of my business page, so you can see the details there. But basically, join my free VIP group and you get your name placed into a drawing that will happen December 1st for a $50 Amazon gift card. And comment on my lives. And we have Barb who's commented this morning, so we'll give her an, another entry. I go live uh, five times a week, and so you have five options or five opportunities uh, to get your name put into the drawing that will happen on December 1st for a $50 Amazon gift, gift card. Uh, maybe it's too early in the morning. I'm fumbling. <laughs> so like I said, as you hop on or if you're watching the replay, please say hi in the comments or replay in the comments. If you would like to join my VIP group, type add me in the comments and I will send you the invite. And if you have any questions at any time, just type info in the comments and I will get in touch with you and answer all of your questions. Uh, let's see. What else do we have going on? Um, don't forget that Chalk Couture is having a week-long, seven or eight days of Black Friday specials. Every day they're going to have a new special, and that is starting, I have my notes here, I believe it's the 23rd through the 30th, and so don't miss that. Uh, follow and like my business page so you can make sure you get all the information on those specials coming up. And <clears throat> let's see. Oh, and we also have our vault, which is still available. We have two retri retired transfers.
that are available for a limited time until supplies run out, and that is a bushel in a peck and coffee time. Very cute transfers. On my business page, there's a couple pictures of those transfers. So if you're interested in seeing what those are about, just take a look at my business page and you'll get all the information you need there. Okay, so let's get started. Um, let's go over what we have here. Uh, like I said, this is a pine board that my husband uh, cut, uh, did this fancy trim on it, sanded and stained it with walnut. Uh, when you stain your boards, you want to make sure it's completely dry before you chalk on them. And this has been dry for a while, so but at least three days is best. I mean, you know, it just, I guess, depends on your, your timing. Um, today, I'm also going to be using a crocodile, and I have a couple options here, and wanted to tell you a little bit of a story. So this is the first one I got, this teal one. I thought it was so cute. And when I bought it, it has a leather punch. Leather, um, I guess that's what it's called, leather punch. And I was so disappointed because I tried to punch my chalk chips with that and it didn't work. And so I said, oh man, I wasted my money. So then I got this one, which is a punch. So this one only offers one size punch, and it is, uh, let's see, I know it's written on here somewhere. It's a quarter inch, quarter inch, yes, quarter inch punch. Then after I read the box, <laughs> read the box, it gives you the instructions. These two sides here are punches as well. And so this one is a 3 16 punch, and this one is a 1 8 punch. So now I have three punches. I used one of my chalkable chips so I can see what size hole each one makes. So depending on the project I'm working on, I just take a look at this and decide which size hole I want. So I just wanted to go through that. This, these are on Amazon. Um, these are our chalkable chips, which we'll be using today. These are reusable. Uh, they have our chalkboard surface on them, and the white ones are available now on my chalk shop. We also have black ones which are um, currently out of stock, but as soon as they come back in stock, I will let you know. And then I also have these little birchwood ornaments, which are really cute, and I got these on Amazon. I think I got uh, 20, 20 in a pack, very affordable. Um, and they're just the real thin birch wood. And, uh, oh, one more thing. And then I have these hooks, which is what we're going to use to hold our chocolate chips and complete our project today. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing we always want to do with our wood is what? Wax. Wax, wax, wax. Um, so I have my wax here and actually I'm not going to use this one because I didn't open it ahead of time and it's a little difficult for me to open. This is our Choc Couture surface fat wax. It is has no smell to it. It is clear and works wonders. It's also uh, runs about the same price as the larger ones that you get at the hardware store. Um, even though it comes in a small container, but if you go buy ounces, it's the same price. So very worth it. And we just want to wax our wood surface so that our transfers are protected from the fine fibers that wood has. Our transfers are reusable many times and to keep the sticky, the adhesive on the back that helps us make our beautiful designs, we need to protect that surface. And waxing creates a layer of protection for our transfers so that we can use them over and over and over again. Okay. I want to make sure I buff it because our transfers are not stencils. 
Um, they are screen, silk screen. They have silk screen on them, and it's screen printing. And if you don't buff your wax out really well, it'll clog up your screen prints, and the design won't go through. So it's important to buff, 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 buff. All right, so we have that done. Here's our transfer. This is absolutely gorgeous. Let me remove the banner so you guys can see the whole screen. This is Days Till Christmas. And as you can see, we have, uh, while I'm talking about it, I'll start cutting because there's quite a few cut lines. And it's basically a Christmas countdown. So I chose uh, this piece of wood because I figured it would fit really nicely on a mantle. Uh, here in Arizona, we don't have a lot of fireplaces. Uh, up north we probably do, but not down here in the valley. <laughs> and, um, but this will look really cute on a mantle or even on a shelf. And if you have kids or grandkids at home, I'm sure they would love every day to do the countdown. I'm excited too, Barb. I've been wanting to do this over and over, but I don't know what was holding me back. Oh, I think I was waiting for the black chocolate chips to come in stock. Um, but then when I counted how many I had, I had enough, so. So there's lots, there's one, two, three different designs on here. We have a Christmas tree and a snowflake. And I'm hoping to use all of it. I'm kind of excited to use all of it, but of course, you know, our transfers, you don't have to use the whole thing. You can also mix and match. Create your own designs. That's what great that's what's great about having them reusable because you can mix and match your projects and create your own unique designs. Chuck Couture is a very affordable, high-end, do-it-yourself home decor company and it is so easy to make beautiful things for your home. Also, there's opportunities if you're if you're a crafter and you work vendor events where you sell finished goods, you sell your finished projects. Chuck Couture is great at providing tools for you to create those finished goods. If you would like more information on that, just type info in the comments and I can get you that information. All right, step two. Well, I think we're on step three or four. But now we want to make sure that we mark the back of our transfers so we do not forget because you see all these numbers. You think they're the same size, uh, but they're not exactly the same size. So it's always best to mark your transfers ahead of time and when you're cleaning up at the end of your craft project you know what goes where. Let's hope that I got the six and the nine correctly. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter they look the same right? And I mark both sides so I know um, what side to line it up on as well. Especially if you're like me and you don't cut straight. 
the side could matter. Let me write Christmas. Two more to go. Just imagine how you could use these in different designs. All these options. Cute little snowflake, Christmas tree. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now we want to design our project. So let's see what we have. Um, and you can use a mixture of black and white, it's all up to you. Or you could even use uh, these birch wood ornaments, it, it will all work. So we're going to put our days till Christmas here. Let's see, maybe a snowflake. And then we have days till Christmas. And maybe put the tree there. Okay, I like that. And I'm going to leave the border that we have here for last and see what our design looks like before I decide if we're going to use that. So for our snowflake, one more thing, sorry, there, was, there is a combination of the numbers that you need to do so that you have um, the right numbers to do the days till Christmas. And I have that in here, I hope. Oh yeah, that's right, I put it in here. Here it is. I did not come up with this myself, um, but what I understand is that you need to have two ones and two twos, but not on the same chip. <laughs> and I'm also going to use the snowflake and the Christmas tree on the chips, and that's going to represent a blank. Like if you have, instead of saying 01, you can do Christmas tree in one, that kind of thing. So we'll have all that ready. Let's get our transfers fuzzed. And I can't see comments here, so let me just move this. Oops. There we go. Move this out of the way. And for the snowflake, I am going to use shimmer silver, and for the Christmas tree, shimmer olive. Yep, shimmer silver and shimmer olive. And you want to line this up kind of towards the bottom of your chip, because you're going to put a hole in the top to hang it. There we go. And the snowflake as long as I have space to put the hole at the top, I think we're good with that one.
and you need one e of each. So one snowflake and one Christmas tree, or you can do two Christmas trees, two snowflakes. So I guess you need two, um, two of the no numbers on your chocolate chips. And I'm just going to quickly do my little design over here on the end. And just press it down with a clean squeegee to get the air bubbles out. And what's also cool about this is pick the colors of your Christmas tree or your Christmas decor. You know, some people do blue and silver, some do red and green, um, some do tons of co different Christmas colors, some do blue and white. So this can easily match your decor just simply by the colors you choose. All right, so we have. Uh oh. I love the shimmers too. Um, they're my favorite. <laughs> they are <clears throat> a little more difficult to clean off the transfers than the regulars, but it's worth it because I love, love, love the shimmers. They're always smooth and creamy. We don't have to mix them up add water to them. So this is our snowflake using shimmer silver. And I'm also going to use the snowflake over here. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Using my clean squeegee to get the air bubbles out. And I bet you guys can hear my dog snoring in the background. That's not a person, that's a dog. All right, so the Shimmer Silver uh, is very light, but you can see it. Uh, you guys probably can't see it as well as I do, but it does show up really pretty. Um, we could go over it maybe with white in kind of like a... Uh, What's that called? Shadow effect? Okay. Now let me make sure I don't... We want to put our two... So we're going to go right here. And I'm lining it kind of on the top to give it a little definition. And then maybe I want to put something underneath it. All right, let's see. I have shimmer frost, white, green, or red. I'm going to do Christmas in white, so I think I'm going to do days till in candy apple. And my candy apple is almost gone. I will definitely be finishing this jar. Okay. 
So Cam is the one that's snoring, and we call her Hoover Tracker. She's a plot hound, so she's a hunting breed. And when that nose gets going, when you see her up in the mountains, you can hear just like a vacuum. So we call her Hoover Tracker. <laughs> and that is why we can hear her snore because that nose of hers just goes and goes and goes. Let me show you guys. This is really pretty in person, so don't worry. I know in the video you can't see it that well, um, but here in person, it's perfect. Okay. And then I was going to do Christmas a little bit lower. And I'm going to dry days till because a little bit of my Christmas transfer is going to touch my design and I don't want it to pull it up. <clears throat> so whenever, even if you're not layering the design, if a piece of your transfer is going to touch, you want to make sure it's dry, and I also, after it dries, I put in another layer of wax, just for that double protection. the little corner because that's all that's going to touch right now and when I go over a design I don't rub I just lightly dab it's a little bit different if we were layering but this is just to protect it from my adhesive so I'm just kind of dabbing Okay, get your air bubbles out, make sure it's nice and flat. And I'm going to be using bright white. The shimmer colors available all year um, they are uh, they do change up the colors uh, for example last year uh, they had a shimmer red and this year it is shimmer crim crimson um, so occasionally they will switch up the, the colors um, like instead of shimmer orange it would be shimmer harvest uh, that kind of thing but they keep they generally have the color palette available they just it might be a slightly different shade and it goes with the season so our next catalog release is in February and so that's going to be the spring and summer catalog. So the shimmer colors that come out for that catalog will be <clears throat> summer and spring colors. And I want to do a second layer over this to brighten it up a little bit. I just have to hurry because I don't want to, I don't want my design to dry. There we go. Perfect. 
Perfect. All right. Let me dry the Christmas. Um, oh, and what are the shimmer colors? I didn't answer your second question. Uh, <clears throat> so today I'm using Shimmer Olive. We have Shimmer Frost. Shimmer Shadow, which came out for Halloween. This is the Shimmer Crimson. Yep. Uh, there we go. Shimmer Crimson, which replaced our Shimmer Red. Uh, we have Shimmer Silver, Shimmer Gold, Shimmer Copper. Um, I have the, this is Shimmer Silver and Shimmer Copper. And then I don't think I have... Um, shimmer Harvest. I didn't get the Shimmer Harvest this year. So I'm going to put the border aside for right now because I just want to wait on that. And now we need to do our numbers. And while I do my numbers, I'm going to have my husband help me out here because I don't have the strength in my hands. But basically what we do is we take these hook uh, clips and you just, with your hands, you can just screw them into the location you want them to be. And that is where our chips are going to lay. So I'm just going to mark it here for him. Oh, he's telling me to put a hole. Oh, here we go. There's one. All right, so we'll put him to work and have him get these screwed in for me while we do our numbers. And I'm going to do a mixture. Let's see here. We need seven chips. So you need seven chips. So I'm going to do four white and three black just so that you guys can see the different colors. So you need seven chips, and I'll put this uh, picture of how to do your numbers, I'll put it on my business page um, so that you can have a little chart on how to do your numbers. So we need one chip or two chips that we're going to do the numbers one and two twice. So that'll be there. And then our third chip we are going to do three and four, five and six, seven and eight, and then we do, uh, where'd my Christmas tree chip go? Oh, here it is. 
Uh, so nine is going to go with the tree, and zero is going to go with our snowflake. Okay. Here is another tip and trick, tips and tricks, is before we chalk on these, we're going to punch our hole because uh, last time I lined up and didn't punch the hole in the correct way. So one way it was lined up perfectly and the other way it wasn't. Okay. And look at that. Perfect every time. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and do the fronts of these so they'll dry while we punch the other ones. Very helpful to have the hole in the chip first. And you can beautifully line up your numbers. I have some meadow here. I brought a whole bunch of colors, so that's why I didn't put the colors in the description because I just brought out a whole bunch of color uh, Christmas colors and figured that if you guys need the name, um, you can just let me know and I will send you the name. This is meadow. And I'm not going to do any kind of pattern. I'm just going to randomly choose colors for numbers because I think it'll just be pretty in a random sense. But of course, if you have a specific decor in your home, uh, you can use those colors. The one and the two I need to use again. Okay, we're going to let those dry before we do the back. And here's our snowflake, which we did it a few minutes ago, so it's nice and dry. I'm just lining this up to the middle of my snowflake. Oh, I did it a little bit too far to the end. That is why you do the hole before you do your pattern. <clears throat> so we'll save that one and I'll give you an example of how we can do this or something. We'll put that one to the side and do that next. All right. Always punch your hole before you do your design. I just gave you an example as to why. Okay, for this one, I am going to use Shimmer Frost. Beautiful, sparkly white. Looks like snow. Now 
Look how pretty the shimmer frost is. Can you see the glitters? You can kind of see the glitters. Okay. We'll let those dry. There we go. I must not have pressed out hard enough. So we've used green. I'm going to use a little bit of Cadet because love the shimmers. I do too. Because a lot of people have their Christmas um, blue and white or blue and silver. So we have this really bold blue called Cadet. Okay. And yes, my Cadet is in a mason jar. <laughs> I dropped my cadet blue and it broke but I was able to save most of the paste so I just put it into a mason jar all right we have Seven and eight. This also has a guide so that you can make sure that you punch your holes in the same position. Which is very convenient. use basic black for this one. Black goes well with Christmas decor and farmhouse decor. Okay, so we have seven and eight, five and six, three and four. We have to redo, we have to do the other side of one and two. Keep your area clean which apparently I have black paste. Um, I must have spilled black paste somewhere. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to redo my tree as well because I didn't put my hole in first. <clears throat> so my lessons learned are your benefits. Yes, exactly, Barb. 
that's that's the beauty of this product is that you can design it <clears throat> you you know this this transfer can go on any of our reusable boards so that it's temporary or wood surfaces metal if you have a metal tray we have that and um, so many options so many colors so many styles One. I'm just cleaning up. I, I must have spilled a little bit of black and I don't want to get it on my designs, so. Okay. What haven't we used? We haven't tried red. Let's do red. I just want you guys to see all the different color choices. use red for this one as well. Okay. okay. So let's before we get to the other side. Now if you were doing this at home, this is the time to take a break, let your designs dry. Um, but since we're doing this live, we have to be a little bit quicker. But I do want to keep my pastes covered so they don't dry out. And I'm going to use my blow dryer to take care of these. Let's see, we have seven chips, two, four, six, seven. So we're done with our crocodile. And let's just... Yes, uh, Barb, you can make it multiple ways, and then you can get five or six people. Our transfers are usable. Um, they're recommended up to 12 times. But if you take care of them, they last much more. So absolutely, these are perfect gifts, especially for young children who just want to watch the days go down. Hi, Janice. How are you? Let's see. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> absolutely. How are you doing, Janice? So we have another commenter on the live. So we put another entry into the jar for our giveaway, December 1st. All righty. Now this is the important part to pay attention to because there is a rhyme and reason to what we put on the back of our chips. So for one and two, 
we actually do one and two. Because we need two of those two numbers. Now I got a little bit of paste on here. Let me just wipe it off. These, these are chalkable chips and they are reusable. Okay, and so I need one and two. My husband was kind enough to wash these off for me so that they're ready to go. So let me just dry them. You want to make sure that they're dry before you reuse them. Again, if you're not doing this live on Facebook, you have more time. So we don't, we want one and two on one chip. And I'm going to use Shimmer Black because we haven't used that yet today. Might as well just use all the colors, right? Oh, this is, I haven't opened this one yet. So I am just going to quickly take some and I'll clean that up later. There is lots of chalk on the lid, and so you want to scoop that off and put it into your jar because it's good to use. So that's why I will do that later. Where my husband? Okay. Look at that. Can you see the shimmer? Not really, but let's look at, here's our black velvet versus our shimmer that I just wiped. But these are reusable and they come, they come nice and clean with just a little bit of water. There we go, okay. So we have, this one is done, and this is our one, so we want to put a two on here, and I'm sorry guys, I know I start, I start talking about something, and then I forget that I'm talking about it. I was saying that if you're doing this at home and you're not rushed because you're live on Facebook, you just let these things dry, air dry, go do some chores, have some coffee, have some wine. Uh, whatever. It's still doable quickly. You just have to use the blow dryer and make sure that you dry it really well before you move to the next step. Or you can have a couple projects lined up and just do them as you go along. That was our shimmer olive beautiful shimmers. Okay, so for three, the back side is supposed to be four. We haven't done our four yet. And we haven't used, I want to show you shimmer gold. There we go. And we have five and 
six. I seem to be missing six. Uh-oh. Oh, I know what happened to six. I got a little bit of chalk on it. My husband cleaned it for me. Okay, here it is. I was like, I haven't used six yet. Spiced cider. Are you talking about the color, Janice? Okay. So we have five and six goes on the back of five. And I'm going to use shimmer gold again. It looks good on black and white. We used a lot of shimmer gold in our projects uh, for the fall. And we often had a black surface. So we know it looks really pretty. There we go, shimmer gold on white and black. Okay, for zero, we're going to use our snowflake and I'm going to just use white for the snowflake oh you don't do coffee or wine oh okay spiced cider I gotcha <laughs> yes you while you're waiting for your project to dry you can go have some spice cider Two more to go, guys. We're almost done. So on the other side of seven, we need eight. And I didn't come up with this combination. Someone else has. Uh, not my idea. <laughs> I'm just copying because I, I did sit down and try and figure out what numbers, you know, the combination of numbers on how to do it best on double sided chips. And I kept having a difficult time with it. So I Googled it and found someone else who had already figured it out. So, uh, why reinvent the wheel, right? Okay, and then on the back of nine, we are going to do the Christmas tree. Is this nine? So we'll just keep the green out and use green. And this one barely fits but it fits just perfect so you just got to be careful with that my husband's a wash and fool today wash 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 lots of things to wash 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 okay And I believe this is our last one. So we're going to close up our paste so they don't dry. 
They last forever if you take care of them, just like anything. A lot of my paste that I don't use that often, I cut for a year and they're still perfectly good. So my husband took care of the hooks. You see the two hooks here? All you have to do is screw those in with your hand. And then the last bit that I wanted to do was I just wanted to add just a little embellishment here <clears throat> just to use up some space. But you know what else would be cute in this area is we have fonts and you could put a child's name or um, or a family name in these places. I think that would be really cute. We have uh, two or three options of fonts. One is like a script and then we have uh, something similar to what Christmas looks like. I know it's script, but it's, um, what's the opposite of script? Cursive or print? I don't know what the op opposite of cursive is. Print, print or cursive, right? And we have fonts that are in print or cursive available. So I think it would be really cute to put your family name here. There we go. And I'm going to hold this up because, again, I can see it really well um, here. But it's hard to see in the video. Okay. So now let's uh, dry our chalk before I start touching them. Yes, absolutely, Barb. Yeah, you have the font and you just write their names on here. I think that would be so cute. Another thing, if you don't want to use the word Christmas, you can say Days Till Santa. You can use our fonts to say Days Till Santa. That would be really cute for the kids. Okay, so let's say it was eight days until Christmas. Look at that. You use your Christmas tree as a little placeholder for eight days. And like I said before, you can use all black, you can use all white chips, and you can also use these. These will work as well. Let me show you what that looks like. And these are birch wood that I got on Amazon. They're also available at the dollar store. And you can paint them with our chalk paste or with acrylic paint or stain them and um, and then do a design uh, we also have Christmas minis I want to show you These are our Warm Wishes Minis. There's 12 different designs and they're perfect for our chalkable chips. Uh, you can add these to your design. So, so, so many options. Which, by the way, if you're not part of my VIP group, um, I have a bundle for anybody that's in my VIP group. 
and the details are there. So if you're not there yet, type add me so I can send you the invite. Don't forget um, to comment on my lives to get your name in a drawing for the end for a $50 Amazon gift card. And the other bonus for joining my VIP, which is free, my free VIP group, uh, is you get your name for a drawing for another $50 Amazon gift card. So we've got a lot going on. We have a wonderful bundle using these Warm Wishes minis. A lot of promotions going on this month. We can't wait for the Black Friday special. And <clears throat> more and more to come. So follow my business page so you can have the insider information and my VIP group. And tomorrow I am not live on Sundays. Thank you, Barb. Um, but I will see you Monday night at 6 p.m. Arizona time, which is now the same as Mountain Central time. And you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Let me just make sure. I always need to look around and make sure I didn't forget to tell you something. Nope, I think we're good today. So you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Oh, absolutely, Janice. You could. Yeah, Janice was talking about adding a third hook, and we could start counting down at 365 days. I'll have to get a chart on how to number those. <laughs> but you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you Monday night. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you, guys. Have a great weekend, Barb.